This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. So listen up. Well, Ray J in his interview with Daily Mail talked about how he and Kim Kardashian would still be together if she didn't steal money from Brandy. He said, apart from them stealing money from my family, we would probably still be together now. But then that happened. I said, I don't want to be sleeping around with you no more. You stole money from my family. So that's why we stopped speaking. How did she steal money? Do we know? I heard that story somewhere. Yeah, they, they've talked about it uh, before. They actually sued Kim Kardashian and Chloe for allegedly charging over $120,000 in unauthorized purchases on their Amex card. And so those charges were to stock their clothing line Dash and smooch, and they did settle that outside of court. Hey man, Chloe and Kim said you got to start somewhere. <laughs> okay, <laughs> started as a scammer, now we here. They stole a hundred and twenty thousand. <laughs> yes, they charged allegedly. They owe Brandy five minutes. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can you date somebody still after they done stole from somebody in your family? No, you got to break up. If I can see the future and I see that their family gonna turn out to be billionaires, <laughs> I can forgive that. From that small investment. <laughs> yeah, that's a little small investment. That's what that's what I would tell my sister Brandy. That was just an investment. Okay. You know how long ago that. That was too. That was um, back in 2006 that that happened. All right, now uh, mm -mm -mm. Mark Lazary, who's the co-owner of the Milwaukee Bucks, he talks about some advice that he gave to Giannis Antetokounmpo on how to handle his money, and he told him not to have his money in several different banks. You know, Giannis talks about how he came from selling trinkets on the streets of Athens alongside his brothers to, of course, now. Uh, in the NBA, being a huge star and getting used to living in the United States after having lived the way that he did in Greece prior to coming over here. So here is what Mark Lasby had to say about investing. Giannis had a great line. He was, he was at our house one day. He goes, where do you keep your money? I said, well, my money's at J.P. Morgan. Um, I go, where do you keep yours? He goes, oh, 50 different banks. Because you have, it, I do it up to the insured amount. And... So I got to make sure my money's insured. And part of that is because he's from Greece. He was worried about banks going under. It's, it actually was fascinating. Just, um, you know, I, you, you've got to spend time with them for them to understand all this. Right. So he said he well, what's spent the advice? a lot of time telling him where they should invest. Um, oh, he didn't tell us. Yeah, he, to he, he didn't told tell Giannis, us. He didn't tell yeah. us. But he's, he said he shouldn't divide up his money into too many banks, and he gave him some advice after that. So. I wonder why he said that. I mean, a lot of people I know do that because banks only usually insure up to $250,000. Anything over that, they don't insure it. So a lot of people spread money around just in case there ever is a problem. Mm -hmm. 50 different banks. That's a lot to keep up with. He has accounts. All right, now, Jack Harlow. Oh, don't sound like it. <laughs> I mean, this like was he, early on. Yeah, I mean, yeah he that's came, true. Yeah, he came over on. when he was 18, so I'm sure. And he's from Greece. So mm -hmm. There's a whole different thing there, so I'm sure he needed some um, sound advice. All right, now, Jack Harlow announced his Come Home, The Kids Miss You tour with the City Girls. Are y'all excited for that one? It kicks off um, September in Nashville, Tennessee, and it ends in Atlanta, Georgia. So... Uh, congratulations to them. That sounds like a really fun tour to go on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Nori has announced who his new guest is going to be on Drink Champs. His next guest is going to be da -da -da, ASAP Rocky. We do have a teaser. Mm. You know, you thought no, you had a we clip. Don't? Okay. I feel like I thought, I don't know why I thought that interview came out already. Mm -mm, he just played a, a clip of it yeah, yesterday. It only... I guess because I, be, I talked to Nori. I guess he, I, he told me he interviewed. ASAP, mm -hmm. a while ago. Mm -hmm. All right, now, Jesse Williams, nude footage from well, his Broadway... They, they have a clip of ASAP Rocky on the show, if you want that. Yeah. All right. Travis Scott stole his whole style. Yeah. From ASAP Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> that was him talking about Travis no, Scott. No, he asked for the clip of Nori of ASAP on Drink Champs and NB goes, well, we have the clip of ASAP on Nori's show if you want it. No, it, 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 <laughs> It just pulled up when she asked for it. No, I saw it on here. That's why oh, I, I teased it. Okay. Yeah, no, it just came up. All right, now, Jesse Williams, <laughs> his nude footage from his Broadway debut has leaked, and Twitter was going crazy over it. Grey's Anatomy. Charlemagne sent it to me yesterday. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesse Williams has talked about this to page six last month. He said he was terrified, but then I noted that that was what I asked God for. I asked to be terrified. I asked to do something that was scary and challenging and made me earn it. It made me feel alive and not comfortable. So there is nudity in this, some full frontal nudity. And but, but why those pictures have leaked. Why are they saying it leaked when it's a Broadway play? Well, you're not supposed to take pictures at Broadway 
Broadway plays oh, at all, especially okay. when there's nudity. I've gone to Broadway plays before. I took my mom to go see mm-hmm. uh, Frankie and Johnny, and there's nudity in there, and they tell you spe- you're not supposed to take pictures anyway, gotcha. but they're very strict about taking pictures, especially when the actors are on stage and they're nude. You don't want to violate their privacy in mm-hmm. that space at all. Well, I see people uh, excited about it, but the truth of the matter is that's a prosthetic. It's a play, people. It's a performance. You're hating. Why did you say so, that's a prosthetic? But it's still a prosthetic. It's not you, just, true. you just said I had you had no idea about it. Now you so say you I, said I, saw people, I said I saw people excited so about, you know about it. it. You said you well, saw I heard Envy and uh, Taylor talking about it literally five minutes before we went on air. Tamar Braxton tweeted out, "Okay, that wasn't that saved. I'm celibate, and the acne on my face looks like rocks. Just one touch, Lord. Prosthetic. For sure, Jesse Williams has three legs, and one can for sure cure the acne on my face. Y'all believe anything y'all see online? Prosthetic." You are a hater. <laughs> okay. They say that he is was a prop. pushing. They say he's pushing P. So I don't know. Yeah, pushing prosthetics. <laughs> you are a hater. <laughs> Ooh. All right. You well, want a hug? listen. Let me talk about things that I can relate to, like the fact that Vice put out a documentary yesterday. Uh, Vice Vice put out a documentary called Men with Micro Penises. Tell us about life with a tiny penis. Okay. Well, talk to us. This came out yesterday. You, did you watch it? <laughs> I didn't watch. I, I, I read some of the. I read. I'm not gonna lie. These stories sound horrifying. <laughs> Listen. Hold on. Let me read well, you let's one. come back with this. Hold on. This guy goes. I think part of it is men want their penis to be noticed, and if one has a very small penis, one could never believe someone who was telling them it was a big D. So the next best thing is to be small. That is Jack from Fort Worth, Texas. I don't believe that. <laughs> Sound like that's Leonard yeah. from South Carolina. Yeah, Leonard. <laughs> Neil from the UK says, my penis has always been tiny since I can remember. It hasn't stopped growing. Just never grew. Wow. True stories. Mm. Wow. Mm-mm. Vice. Salute to Vice. They put this out yesterday. Salute to All right. Well, mm-hmm. All right, well that is... Uh, Representing for the underdogs. Your good, rumor report. You're in good company now, brother. Yeah. All right. Who are you giving your donkey to? Story. It makes it easier for you, right? You. Envy. So. That's you the bottom. Yeah. What? Right? The bottom and of what? the top, it makes it easier, right? <laughs> what are you talking When I put that about? little USB in your butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> he has no problem walking after. <laughs> None whatsoever. <laughs> None whatsoever. He can run. He you can ride me? horses. <laughs> <Y'all> not... <laughs> Y'all not turning no issues. Y'all not, y'all not turning me gay today. I'm just telling y'all. y'all not... Turning? Yeah, you're not making me turn to me. You whatever. turn. Turn. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you giving your doggy to, man? <laughs> oh, man. For after the hour, Marcus Renard Hubbard, he needs to come to the front of the congregation. Uh, this is a prime example of why everybody don't need to be in jail, but we'll discuss. All right. We'll get to it next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 